just letting you know that we are live. So if you want to join us, you can join us. You know, trying to see if it, it's going to pick it up. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to Una. Good morning. I'm still not getting no notification from YouTube, you know. And normally, I would get a notification too. This is crazy what's going on. Yeah. Like, my, my, my YouTube would, would kick in and I would just be able to find it. I just go in live, you know. Good morning. Good morning, Lala. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Blessings to you. All right, so I have to search far and wide to find it. But I did. Let me just share it right now. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Debbie Downer, good morning to you. And come join our live. And this morning we we, we this morning we go with, with chest very high. Alia, Alicia, I uh, am um, Leacock. Good morning. Uh, did I get that right? Good morning to you, Leacock. Yes, from Tobago. Big up yourself, girl. Big up yourself. Tobago's in the house. Trinidad is in the house. Hey, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to share the the, 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 the live on my um, YouTube, so please. Tamar Nicole, good morning to you. Big up yourself. Um, right now, as we... How the fun they are shakes up? Make a delicious recipe. Click on the link to chat with us in the kitchen. Ah, to cook and chat with us. Cook and chat post glory hallelujah praises me guys i do hope that you all um post it on your social media as well so that we can get right into the business so good morning let's go live 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 yeah the belly is live Live in the kitchen and live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yeah, the belly is live. Yeah, the belly TV is live, live, live. Cooking, them not see you, them not see you. So we are, we are do the dancing over there. So far. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They're not seeing you. So? So why are you over there dance? Why do you feel like everything people do is to be seen? But you don't make the sense here dance. It's for my own enjoyment. It's for your own dancing. Come do this. Do me a favor. Turn off this light for me. You stop the song for that? Yeah, because I'm not seeing you. You are very, very. Guys, okay. tell us on the Nasi and so she must do dance when on Nasi. She needs to do it that way, right? Let's go. Live, live, live. Yeah, the belly is live. Live in the kitchen and live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yeah, the belly is live. Yeah, the belly TV. Live, live, live. Oh, me say, cooking, cooking, cooking. Yeah, the belly is cooking. Cooking in the morning, we're cooking in the evening. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yeah, the belly is cooking. Yeah, the belly TV. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Uh, -hoo -hoo. All right. Good morning, Kim. Kim, blessing, blessing, blessing. 
guys let me tell you something I have some fish right here so and I've, I've not been eating that much let me just tell y'all yesterday when we made that 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 tuna tartar nachos if you missed that video yesterday you missed that excellent dish excellent over oh, magnificent it was so um hot couture um no hot cuisine yeah me have to talk french because you know it was a french inspired it was hot cuisine yesterday we used tuna raw tuna with a nice spicy oily garlic aioli 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 not okay what is garlic aioli sauce Put it on the nachos and thing, and then put caviar. Caviar, guys, you can believe it. Caviar. Anyway, I them two little nachos that me eat and go to bed. Drink little tea, go to bed. And I got up this morning and I did one hour and six minutes on the road. I walked for 50 minutes. A 50 them, sir? And I ran for 16 minutes. That's a big improvement. So at the end of it all, I walked and ran 3.8 something miles this morning. I, I feel so, I feel so runnish. So I put on my run shirt because I have to show you guys, if, if you're not running, you're not doing anything. Albeit it's 15 minutes alone, but hey, Rome wasn't built in a day. Valine thought good morning to you. Clive, bless up here, my brother. Blessings to you, yes. I respect, respect. Rome wasn't built in a day. If me run 16 minutes out of the hour and 6 minutes to the, to the probably tomorrow I'm going to run 20. And then eventually I'm going to run the whole hour. Right? You understand what I mean? So, I'm not pressure myself. I'm just doing what I can do. You know what? When I got home this morning, the wife was working out in the garage. We were doing what we have to do. So, I feel good. I feel very divine. So the one meal a day works for us guys and um, i'm not telling anybody to to take it on but i'm just saying you know do what works for you work with what works for you all right so that's my that's my word of encouragement this morning my pot is already set babes are you me need your help you know i'm gonna show you what the wifey has already accomplished in the little bit of time that we had this morning to prepare we have some dumpling over there so <laughs> Dumpling and sweet potato, and that is what? What kind of dumpling that, baby? W W W W dumpling. That's W W dumpling. Anybody know what W W mean? You can get um two dumpling, two and a half dumpling, and piece of sweet potato. If you know what W W mean, and I put on my pot already right here. What's on low? What's on low? Because I didn't want you. You can't burn the pot, B. Remember. Can I get the oil, please, darling? I love you. Thank you so much. You're a cute girl. Enram, good morning to you. I is here for food. <laughs> so, guys, me have some fish. Well, are you do it? Are you in charge? I'm just doing it. Tamar, boss. Tamar, you are just one for yourself. One, two and a half dumpling. What's this? A wheat hour? All wheat. No, it's that for an answer. I don't know. Tamar, she has said that the answer after you win your dumpling. My girl, I think Tamar think you should protest. It's wheat and white. I think Tamar should protest because that's not fair. You understand? Nobody knows what wheat and white means. We all know whole, whole wheat. See? She's saying it's whole wheat with white flour. You understand? But Tamar, look on this now. So we have these. What kind of fish these, babes? Sinapper. Sinapper. Oh, okay, yeah, it looks like sinapper. We have some snapper, you know, otherwise known as snapper. And then over here, we have some multicolor carrots. We have some Brussels sprouts and we have the okra. I'm here for the okra. All right. And we're going to try to brown stew this. Now, guys, what is the process of brown stewing? I believe you guys can tell me what, what I'm, if I'm right or wrong. You put the fish in the oil and you fry them. And then once them fry to a certain level, then you take them out of the oil, you make a nice little tomato base sauce, and you just deal with it. You understand know what I mean? So, yes, Valine Thorpe, we have to learn how to ban our bellies. Yeah? My girl, you know, say, you know, say, you know, you just over here, so I try, um, I don't put in a little bit of pepper in the pot. 
Hmm? What kind of little bit of pepper that? Guys, who said more pepper thin in the pot? Who said more pepper thin in the pot? I need enough to raise my hand. Hmm? Out of what? Um, Nero, by the cool. way, good morning guys. My apologies for my lack of manners. But good morning to you. I see some new names. And it's amazing. There is a new name written down in glory. Is it Maurice Dodd? Good morning, my Jamaican friends. Left Jamaica many moons ago. You bring back memories. I love you all. Thank memories you. Memories don't live like brown stew fish. I mean, tell me if it's Maurice or Maurice. And we have Nero. Now try to test the fish. These names. Nero. Now, for, now for turn up the stove and make this go um, high. Right, babes? But I was talking still. So. Oh, I'm, I apologize. Well, I'm, I'm so sorry. You know I loved you. I didn't mean to. Guys, me interrupt her, so I'm not going to apologize. Ain't person on the chat. Please like up the thank you, buddy, in store. Thank you. Put it in now? No. You know, yes. I don't like when the fish go in the swim around. Then I think I said fish. Next time, guys, sorry about the fish argument here. And Ram, good morning, Claire, Kim, Kim, um, Nero, Morit, Valine, Tamar, Uma Miss, Lala, Veronica, who else? Who else? Who else? Alicia, our Demante, Debbie, Debbie, is that your real name? That's funny. Why you, why you call yourself Debbie Downer? Because she is Debbie Downer. <laughs> Are these ready for going now? Pim, could you wait? All right, are you all right? It's not ready. It look ready to me. Guys, the aisle not ready. It's not steaming. It's supposed to be framed. So turn up the fire more then. All we do just don't touch it. You understand? Right? Okay. You have to press this down, sir. Mm. Not all is the whole time, so it's not right, it's not, it's not lift up. Oh, you're supposed to tie it. Oh, with the with this last with the um skeleton. I know skeleton. Oh, what them use? Some oh, them use part. fever grass. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the troll fever me grass. Me now move my hand even if it are burning me. How you feel about that? Good. You want me to make that sacrifice for you? I feel good. I'm gonna sacrifice. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have our fish now. This is the this is our brown stew supposed to be, right, babes? Brown yeah, fry first and then you make it. And then you, you put some brown in pan it and sweet it up. No, you make a sauce and then you add the fish. You make a gravy like and then you add the we fish. You use tomato and make gravy? Oh yeah. So what we're gonna do with all these food? What? The one that lift up a while ago. Do we find me me I'll run me up for run a while ago now? Why you didn't put all the fish in the pot? It can't all. So good. I don't think the marginal utility is over on the fish. <laughs> I use my hands. I don't, um, you need a calm. The fish alive. <laughs> Rev, the oil isn't ready yet. I saw me to work and I saw the paper then, Valian. Valian, the Lord said, make sure the oil is ready. I guess it ready for it now. It's not a stick. <laughs> that fish is on the sea too, right? What? <laughs> that fish over there said, come alive a while ago. Raise up your head and go back down, like you might say. <sighs> That's how you know that fresh fish I use. You want, you want to put these in there? Oh, yes. Don't be no one move because it feel like, it, it, anytime it feel like it was stickish. I'm 
Nu, 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 Don't eat me, he said. <laughs> Fish one run out there for a drill. You see my Jamaican, my Jamaican something that looks nice. Look yes, it. guys. So, oh. It can all. It can all. All things are possible. Hold on, what is that? What? You can't find me, man. Stop, stop your exclamation and your alarms, no man. Jeez. A breathish. Guys, my wife is one of those persons that when she talk, she does make you want to run. Think like she, she would have worked good in a one, in a one ducky show. I the aisle proper and bum me. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of sorry. Where is me? The aisle burns me, <laughs> the oils have burned me and I feel it. Can I have black pepper too? No, you know I'm Oh, 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 no wonder raise the power of other people. Why are you watching the fish and the fish are raised? Yes, I know. <laughs> hey, a, a Halloween fish. They're raising from the dead. <laughs> Okay, so we, we need to cut up the, 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 the ingredients for the sauce. We bring it, bring the, 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 the camera tomato. over. Alright, so we got to cut up to stuff them now. Right. And this board that I have here, she designate that board as for vegetables. For, 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 um, for vegetables, and then this little board is for seasoning. So I can't cut nothing from the local board here. And then we have one for meat. This will be nice with dumplings. Oh, you know, sir. And Ram, you know, see the dumpling, not the pot she make. Watch how my board break, you know. Are you serious? Yeah, the, the bamboo board just split. Can't bad, I know. The board just break, the cutting board just split, guys. You have to watch it when you start with the dancing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know it's a craven dancing there. Alright, so where, where's Jamie? Official Jamie. Yeah. yeah. My thing yeah. said they, they, they went in there and catch her yesterday. What? The, the raw tuna. <laughs> she said she was going to make for dinner yesterday again. I forgot. She did tell us what she's gonna eat for dinner, but I don't remember. So, guys, I have a question for you guys today, and I wanted your opinion and your feedbacks. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. When you're doing the question, turn it on yourself so they see your beautiful face, baby. What is wrong keep with it you and your face? Keep the thing personal, B. You, you can't keep the thing so impersonal, B. People want to interact with you. You see me? Right, guys? Do you want to see me or you want to see the food? Why are you guys here? Food, Let time. me know. Do you guys want to see me or you want to see the food? I'm pretty sure you're here to see the food. Them can see peace and peace. Little and little. Let Who does they have to the food is not here for us. And oh, we need them wow. I have a dimple. Hmm. You don't know. Oh, shout out to my sister. Oh my God, I need to call my sister. Today is my sister's birthday, you guys. Happy birthday to you, Diane. I'm going to send you to this video afterwards. I know you're at work now, but once you're done, I'm going to send you to watch this video so you can see the shout outs from Yada Better TV. Happy birthday to you, sis, on your um, big silver birthday. No, What's gold silver birthday. Mean? Gold birthday. What's silver mean? Silver anniversary is usually 25, but gold anniversary is 50. So, Hold on, they're not 50. My sister looks um every time them see me and my sister together, they ask who is younger. Isn't that an embarrassment on my part? Hold on, Diana 50? Diana is 50. Happy foolish yeah, man. My sister is 50. I don't know what I can tell life on one another. I might if you ever see my sister, it's like you would never know that she's 50. She looks fabulous. 
very petite you know youthful looking and stuff so happy birthday to you Diane yeah look like you get you go what look like you're gonna cut your finger oh so much fun this morning you are so beautiful thank what you. can i say beautiful blissful earth from to your sister thank, thank you for the beautiful part i try my best <laughs> denny's wisdom good morning to you good morning anyway and the question that i have today for you guys and it's not a thought um that whether you are in a marriage or a relationship or you're single the question is still relevant because even if you're not in one now you've been one in one in the past or you will be one in one in the future so the question is do you guys think that roles in relationships are still relevant you know? what do you mean roles like like husband go go work and wife is cook the right. food right do you think that those roles still hold strong do you think that the male should be the primary breadwinner in a relationship is that still relevant do you think that the female should be the primary person who keeps the house you know mm -hmm. you know the household you get everything running do most of the cooking as long as the winning bread me one win for me that win the bread i win you win it like in a competition <laughs> I'm, I'm just because everything has changed you know, and I don't know if it has changed for the better or for the worse, but I know that a lot of these past, you know, expectations, traditional uh, traditions in relationships have been eroded. And I don't know if it's for the better or for the worse, for the male or for the female or what. Let me know. Do you think that, you know, there should be a specified role for the male and a specified role for the female? Can those roles be reversed? Is there anything wrong if these roles are reversed? Let me know what you think. That is a good conversation because let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. oh, when sorry. The, when fire, if fire burn, oh, the, the, the fireman <laughs> said, stop, drop our roll. So anybody can roll. Rolling. <laughs> Guys, is there anybody on watching now that doesn't know that my husband is a professional comedian? Like, this is a serious question though. I don't know <laughs> if you guys are aware. But not always seem drop him like a joke. Them sometimes them funny, sometimes them not corny. so funny. <laughs> Most but times them corny. He is a comedian by profession. He is an amazing comedian. He, you know, actually does comedy at events. Weddings sometimes, um, concerts, church birthday events, parties. birthday parties, anniversaries. He is the best Jamaican comedian ever. Ever. Period. Who? Yeah, I'm just putting it out there in case you didn't know. But yeah. I think for the rule argument, you know. <laughs> Lala said, no, I'm not aware. <laughs> wow, Lala, wow. <laughs> you know, so Lala, they're black or my life, right? All right, let me see what they're saying now. While you watch the food, let me read some comments. All right, so. What did I miss? What did I miss? Thank you guys, by the way, for the birthday wishes. Yes, thank you guys. Yes, 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 yes. Rose is still relevant because of how the world has been the burden burden can't be on one person true true for real for real i agree with that one for for real clear mm -hmm. roles are important however post modernity has caused changes to occur i love traditional roles i watch my elders and they were happy big talk that nero for real, for real. I, I can't I cannot forget um like how I used to see my grand aunt and I use that as an example because in my um during my childhood I didn't grow up with two parents in the household for the most part. And um so I didn't get to see that interaction much in terms of a, a husband and a wife or a male and a female growing together in the household. But when I went to the country, which was every single holiday, loved going to the country, I used to see my grand aunt and how she treated her husband, the passion with which she served her husband was just amazing to me. I feel the passion. 
no for real it was just amazing to me and um that was really an example i don't know why i'm not living by the exam today <laughs> but it's like she would literally time when he was coming from the bush you know the man the man them always go bush most of the men in the country so he, like that. They, went, went, they went farming. Still, man, now just go bush up. I <laughs> don't like that argument, they might just straight up the argument, man. Hey, Alright, well, I always go farming. But she would time precisely what time he would come back home. And you know, them normally do everything by clockwork. If they if them off by five minutes, you know, say something wrong. Oh, yeah. So she would make sure that his food was always on the table with the food in the water in a pyrex dish on one side the meat in another pyrex dish on its own in another dish to real, the, to woman the next the side, real woman the vegetable over there knife and fork empty plate in Jeez, the middle um, juice long glass of carrot juice i mean it, she went all in and she would do everything in the in the house in, in terms of house work but at the same time she was a full-time shopkeeper so she she fully kept the household, made sure her husband was taken care of, and at the same time she managed full time her shop. She didn't have anybody selling in there for her. She did that on her own, and so you know that was admirable. But like, um, was it Nero? Somebody said earlier that they don't know how sustainable that would be in today, based on you know the economy. You know how can mm -hmm. you know one. One person party. Can't put the bill on her yeah, way. how can one 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 partner bear the brunt of the bill? It's not always possible. Like on me when I put no one yet. <laughs> <laughs> not everybody have the luxury of being able to live on one income, number one. And so two parties have to be out working. And at the same time, you can't expect that if two people are out working, that only one person is going to come home from work and you know manage the household. It's not practical. I don't think it's practical, but continue to let me know what you think. Full time. All right, so then I can come out now, baby. Mm. Remember, say, go on, to eat dry. But make sure, say, two tail dry. No, two egg dry. <laughs> so, some dry. I'm thinking that they can come out now. What do you guys think? You know, how guys, let him know that he doesn't need to rush the pot. He doesn't need to rush the cooking. You guys are here for the long haul. I'm not really rushing. I'm take... just wanting, not wanting it to really burn or anything like that. You know, we, we, guys, by the way, we don't really fry fish often. You know, most of the mm -hmm. time we do, we do we, we fish. We do like uh, steam and then type of something. We don't really do fry fish in other house especially. You know, more set up on a back that we can do all of these things outdoor. Oh, you know, I saw something, somebody doing a cooking video and they had the thing that you want. The induction yeah. um, cook and, it, yeah. and theirs was just one burner too. Yeah, it, it, it come at one burner. Oh, okay. But it would be nice to just put it at the front there so you don't have to really move up and down with the camera. Tamar, hey, is it your son's birthday too? Wow, happy birthday to your son, Tamar. Hey, I don't know hey, how Mar, old Junior. he is, but hope he is spoiled today. Spoiling today. No, no, the boy did not get spoiled. The boy didn't get up and do things like normal. Mm -hmm. They're not supposed to spoil the boy then. Alright, so let me see if I miss any comments, guys. Comments, comments, comments. Hey, man, comments. are important, but nowadays some, some men don't do the roles like how I see my dad do. Um, helping, sharing with the girls and also. Mm, right and Balin says the wedding vows says we have now become one so everything should be should be done together or should do together once there is a proper communication between us as couple the roles aren't relevant hmm okay I think I understand what you mean so everybody come to an under I think you're saying that whatever works for each yeah. relationship. Mutually. Yeah. Whatever works mutually. Yeah. Once you have a, a, a mutual understanding that, okay, this is what works for us, 
then yeah. You know what some people may notice happen nowadays. Nowadays people don't have couples not have joint account again. That's another topic. Don't touch that yet. That's for another day. <laughs> Lala said, I think the roles are dependent on the time or situation at the moment in the marriage. Someone may need to step up and take up for that moment in time. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I think the number one, the number one um, solution is, as you said before, making sure you know what works for, for you and your partner. Mm -hmm. And then each person must be willing to compromise. Because, for instance, you have some man who say, oh, me now wash clothes. You understand? And irrespective of them, them, them wife have, have, a, have one hand in a sling, mm -hmm. them now take up the clothes and wash it because them now wash clothes. That in itself is arrogance, Ignorant. and I and I think that that don't that shows that the person is not invest fully invested in the relationship. Yeah. Because some people, some people in relationships to be served. Yeah. Some people feel like I get with this woman, you know. I'm speaking from a male perspective. Some men feel like I get with this woman. She's supposed to meet me needs sexually. She's supposed to meet meet me needs socially. She's supposed to meet me needs economically. She's supposed to meet me need domestically. And at the end of the day, they just receive, 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 receive. Some men feel like they are, they are the greatest gift to woman. You know them really? Like, because the woman go in a room with them at night time, and them 10 minutes or them 15 minutes, they feel like the world that them do for her. And let me tell you something. If your woman is burdened down by economic, domestic, social, financial, Problem. She don't want to have no sex. She don't want to involve with her like that. No matter, how she, no matter how she love you. So when it comes to roles, I feel like assess your life, assess your house, assess your space, and, and make sure you are fully, fully, um, and you're fully in, involved in a, in a relationship as a man. This is just me speaking for the men. Make sure you're fully involved. You come home and whatever is necessary to do, you do it. Now, watch this. You have some women who also feel like, you know, they are God, God's gift to men. And not only do they become arrogant, but they also become dominant. A, a woman who is overly dominant will end up chasing her man away. And let me say this, women. You see, if any of your man start get silent in the house, and not nobody. Him. You ask him my opinion and him not have an opinion, watch it. Because a man will live with you. And him not with you. If a man will live with you for 10 years. And five out of the 10 years, him not with you. But him dead. But him, him, him head, him whole thing, him not with you. A man will buy your flowers. You understand? Because you know I'm beauty. You know, you know what you expect because you're so vocal. He know exactly where you expect and he do everything where you expect, but he mentally is not there. So it's a very complex situation that each party has to assess for themselves. And remember this, you don't go in a relationship with 50-50. Don't ever consider a relationship 50-50. It's a hundred and a hundred. Mm -hmm. She put a hundred in it while me put a hundred in it. Because you say for 50-50, me have a, me have a watch she to see if she had a 50 before me do my 50. You know, mm -hmm. so I'm just saying it from my perspective, guys. I'm not here to say I am I am the the the, the guru for marriage. We have been through some trials, some tribulation. Who is the trials? There's one thing that I wanted to say regarding. There's one. There's one. Take page. them out. Got them a There's one thing from the Bible that I I I'm kind of wonder about. Hold on. You want me to take them off here, babe? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, there's this one thing from the Bible that I wonder about. The whole thing about Adam and Eve <clears throat> and the sin that they committed, that, that one sin that they committed that, you know, caused sin to, to enter into the world and the punishment that was pronounced upon each of them. Right? Mm -hmm. It's two punishments. One for the male, one for the female. And I believe the one for the male was that by the sweat of your brow, you shall eat bread. Right? That right. was a separate punishment 
um, pronounced upon the male. Right. And upon the female, it's uh, he said, you will bear pain in childbirth. Right. Right. So my thing is, I'm wondering if the male was really intended to be the sole breadwinner based on that 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 you know that punishment that was pronounced upon him. Well, and why is it that women now have to still um, earn their bread by their sweat? Plus, we still have to endure the child labor. All right. I, so I, I, it, I, to me, it's like we get it double. When one was supposed to be for the men, it's be for us. Yeah, answer. All right. So, by the sweat of your brow, mm -hmm. you shall eat. All right. That was the judgment pronounced on Adam. Adam, right? All right. Um. It did not. It did not. The, the, that that pronunciation did not mean that Adam alone must work. Because remember now, you know, the wife was was created to be um, a help that is suitable for him. Mm -hmm. You know, meaning so she's gonna be part and parcel in the in the the, 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 the process. You know, whatever process is that Adam was supposed to be conducting. Mm -hmm. You see me? Mm -hmm. um, because of the sin that them them do, mm -hmm. him get a pronunciation. Say no, things now become easy to you. Mm -hmm. You have to work the way you want. Right. You know, for the woman, her reproductive um, activity was is part of part of our relevance yeah but i'm just saying that her burden cannot be shared you understand me right which so, is also which is also another thing because because a man is <laughs> a part of the sin is that the man end up becoming careless men become careless because a man's burden is supposed to be provi provision mm -hmm. providing securing you know um taking care of that's supposed to be a man's burden right one of the other side to a woman um, that makes them sort of endure more pain is that women are so assertive that them can't be if they see something wrong and don't fix it. How about the men probably drop the ball? Yeah, but we know we drop the ball. So we got to pick it up. The, the, who tell you that? There is no way in the Bible everybody say... everybody going to live uncomfortable. Hello, hello, hello. Listen carefully. There is no way in the Bible where tell you say you will pick up the man burden. And there's no way that says you must drop the ball. Exactly, but the point I'm trying to make is if if women continue to assume male rules or male dominant rules, you know, traditional rules, then men will also continue to drop the ball. For instance, I see that happening. garbage day, garbage day. Me supposed to carry the garbage. Mm -hmm. How many times do I carry the get, get up late and, and I'm rushing to carry the garbage and you say, "Babes, I bring it out for you." How many times? Few many times. times, many times. Few times. You know why? why you know why it's a dangerous thing? Mm -hmm. Because after a while, I'm just gonna start to think, shall I carry it out for me? Mm -hmm. You see me? And many in many situations, that's exactly what has happened. Make it stay in the stink. Make it become my problem. So I assert myself to fix it. Because of your assertions, men fall. Men mm -hmm. The, the, the serpent never come to Adam, you know. And come to Eve. <laughs> and Eve decides that she has to take up the case. Because she want to be like God. <laughs> mm. This is <laughs> So guys, the whole point is, I mean, I, I'm not here to preach um, gospel and stuff like that. You know, but the whole idea is, back to the relationship thing. We have a duty. And it is to make, my job is to make her happy. And her job, well, not, not really. My job is to accommodate her. And her job is to accommodate me. And we live together cohesively in one accord, in, in unity. I don't want to be in an accord. You know why not? Yes, yes, is a conversation done. <laughs> she want to arrange over, she know why not accord. <laughs> but not more to say, you know. I think she just cancel the conversation. <laughs> but the truth is, guys, you know, um, if you're a husband, if you're a man, and you have a wife and a girlfriend or whatever, you know, your job is to make she happy. Your job is to sacrifice yourself. And this is important. 
The Bible talk about two things that nothing we can can deal with. The Bible talk about submission and it talk about sacrifice. And enough man, enough man, don't love them wife like how them love themselves. That's hot. Why you pour it all around? Because it, <laughs> I don't want to use it. Use oh, something. Use anyone? Yeah. Um, enough man, don't love them wife like how them love themselves. And if them wife ever walking at anything where, where, where other men said them have to deny themselves, enough man not deny themselves. I'm being straight. And a lot of women will never submit to a man. When you talk about submit to a woman, sometimes you come like you're a joker with, with iron. Like you're a joker with needle. Because in her mind, that is belittling her, that is, you know, um, marginalizing her. It is, it is questioning her intelligence. She look on the man like a big fool anyway. In the smart, smarter than her, so why she must submit to him. And so the challenge that, that the Bible puts on us, God in the Bible put on us, is are you willing to deny yourself for your partner? As a man, are you willing to deny yourself for your wife? And as a wife, are you willing to deny yourself for your husband? That's why I'm using them two things there. Because it's easy for a woman to love. It's easy for a woman to love. But it's hard for her to submit. And it's easy for a man to submit. But it's hard for him love. Because no one has men. You don't already submit to a wife. Mm -hmm. But you love yourself more than I do. So. All right. Some, some comments now. Go ahead, girl. Once there is proper communication between us as a couple, the roles aren't relevant. Oh, well, I read that already. Lala said, I think that roles are dependent on the... I think I read that one already. Yeah. Nero said, the kitchen is my space in my relationship. Ka in kya cook, lol. A lot of males today are cook. What? A cook mother substitute? A <laughs> look, them a look mother substitute. A look mother, yeah. oh yeah, sorry. A look mother substitute. I hear many women complain about that. True, true, for real, for real. And then them complain and say, if their mother they cook it better. Me never complain. Not mother. you. My mother is a good mother. Don't talk about my mother. <laughs> Don't talk about my man, I can't tell you right now, my earth. However, depending on the situation, a lot of continues, the wife will lead and in other moments the husband will lead. Yeah, because I guess once you, you know, agree that this person have strengths in one area as opposed to another, then as once you guys come to an agreement, it's fine. It depends on the agreement on the couple in their specific, yeah. Same as the roles are important, but nowadays some men don't do the roles like how I see my dad do. Okay, yeah, I think you read that one already. Mm -hmm. Nero said, there is nothing wrong with balance, but each situation must be assessed on its own merits. True, true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Roles are important, Debbie say. Roles are important. Yeah, roles are important because without roles, the chicken and the dry by itself. You have to put roles with it. <laughs> But you have to make the sacrifice for your family. My husband works, and I say homemade, so it works for us. I, yeah, I think I understand. Mm -hmm. Rev, that's a good topic for this evening on the Caribbean radio. <laughs> Claire said that. I know this guy who expects the wife to come from work every day and cook. Trust that's me, crazy. I can say that that's one thing that I can't complain about, you know. He has never ever been that type of person who fuss about not getting dinner. He will, you know, pretty much go with anything I decide to go with. If I say we're not cooking, we're eating dry food, he's, he don't have a problem. If I say we're buying food, he doesn't have a problem. So, yeah. I'm glad I did not find one of those men. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking see, about can you that fix too. the camera so they can see and not see the roof alone then? The roof? Okay. Alright, I was thinking cooking. about that too this week. Some man talk too much and annoying too. <laughs> <laughs> and that will change me. That's all like <laughs> Tamar talk about somebody. That's so true already. <laughs> Tamar, that's all very true already. As she said, just like how they think about the female, the female thinks the same. 
Yes. Anyway, me, food me, time again. I put in some the, the, the yesterday sauce that mommy get from the taco place. Mm -hmm. The tomato sauce that me put them in this year. Guys. So this is just onion and garlic. Tip of the day. Use your sauces from the restaurant. From the taco place. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's a brown stew and we want it to be nice and, and we're using coconut oil. Mm -hmm. So it's just onion and garlic in with the tomato um, sauce. Yeah, you can use ketchup need, or you can use like a salsa. We need fresh thyme, so thyme is good in gravy. Mm -hmm. And then we just put in my fresh onion, my fresh tomato now. Mm -hmm. And, and it make it go on this skin. Now we go find the thyme. This one is a kind of a long um, dish this morning, but guys, but it's fine. It, it long? No, it's not past the time yet, but oh. it's, it's, it's soon, a process. It soon, it soon do. If it was steamed fish, it would have been Done quicker. Brack, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a Benz. Fresh time. She want to live in a Benz. <laughs> <laughs> no a card right here. The okra not reach yet, Lala. Why are you rushing the process? <laughs> Marit said, Marit said, I will discuss this with the good Lord when we get to heaven. <laughs> For real. When we all get to heaven. Want to do the fish? If you like the fish, I want to eat dry in a worse way of some bummy. You want to put bummy in it? No. Mm -mm. We are going out too much now. Yeah, we are do too much. Time for a little bit of miracle seasoning. We're gonna add a little miracle seasoning to the mix. Mm -hmm. I don't know, the miracle seasoning is a blend of turmeric, ginger, garlic, onion, apple cider vinegar, and the works. Two dollops, one and a half dollops is good. <laughs> Tamar say yes, a word, I'm throwing. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not working, actually. Somebody bonus. That this, looks man. specific. Yeah. Shot too much and not in the house. You know how long Tamar will lick the brook? You know how long Tamar will lick the brook? I'm not laughing. May I use ketchup? My wife loves ketchup in her food. You know, she's a man called out the name now. Mm-hmm. A little water, mm -hmm. like a half cup of water. I know you can turn up the stove a little bit more. So it comes back to a rolling boil. Um, I can't forget the brown <laughs> stew part, you know, the brown stew. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use a little oyster mushroom. Yes, yes. Oyster and this mushroom. oyster mushroom, guys. Royal Montego. Mushroom oyster Mushroom soya sauce. sauce. No, no, no. So it's a mushroom oyster sauce? You can use oyster sauce if you have it. Mm -hmm. And once that come up to a nice little boil, I'm going to add some of my thing there. I'm going to add some of this sure? to it. Yeah, man, I'm sure. This is, this is optional. Fish sauce, you guys. I hope you're ready. All right. <laughs> what a liberal amount. That pressure me now. You're Ciao. tiny. <laughs> Ciao. That was a liberal amount, guys, I tell you. And you need a little sugar. Sucre. We got some white sugar. We try to use it up in cooking. I don't normally use white sugar, guys. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, this is your sauce, basically. You know, to do its thing. So Look now funny. you just want to add your fish now. You just go and simmer down in this, right, babe? Oh, That's yeah. where it's supposed to go? And then the other stuff? Yeah. Simmer mm -hmm. down. Make them tell you, make them tell you. you hear what I say. Make them tell you about that. And the battle will be hot. Guys, remember, we have the okra to put in and we have some whole carrots. Do we put the carrots and the okra and the brussels sprouts in now or the fish first and then put the, the veggies on top because sometimes we genuinely don't really know everything yeah because we do things different and we, we want it to be as as um traditional as possible oh my gosh what happened is what is it oh my gosh nothing what me do 
Nothing. Yes. Yeah, I wonder if I want to put pimenta seeds. People normally put pimenta seeds. You can put pimenta seeds. Yes, cook, cook down the fish, veggies. Cook down the fish, veggies first, so it's stew too. Okay. So, I put in this then. Put them in again first. Mm -hmm. Mark it, that response is from a non Jamaican. <laughs> Lala, I'm <laughs> making it. <laughs> Lala, you hear her? Right? She had two word. <laughs> All right, put in the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> May I put the fish now and then just put them the pan top. Mm -hmm. Which one at which where you say they want fish to eat raw, um dry? Mm -hmm. Which one? Like head and tail or one single fish? Two one tail for me and one for you. You want the two tail them to eat dry or a head and a tail? So what are you gonna eat dry? I don't eat nothing dry, my girl. Alright, put everything in then. No, leave that. <laughs> Shit one way, see man. Alright. And then we just drop in the carrots. And guys, I like because these carrots are so look so nice. Mm. Just like a one in the man. One in the mine girl. One in the mine girl. I'm throw my carrot them on the side, make them look good in other pot, man. And we have white carrots and we have <laughs> yellow and, and these things. Well, I say, <laughs> you're bright. You know, I know about my seafood. I have fishermen for brothers. <laughs> <laughs> my apology. My sincere apology. Fishermen <laughs> brothers, Lala. <laughs> Are they Jamaican fishermen? <laughs> and guys, <laughs> guys the, the okra, did you know that the water from the okra, you can soak your okra in water and then drink the water. If you can stomach the slime, and it's very good for like constipation and all the other patients then. See that? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's cover it now. Let's put, put a little bit more butter. Maybe a little bit more water too. You want a little bit more water? Mm-hmm. Why do make me use the upper water? No, no. What about like, um, what do you call it? Garlic powder and stuff like that. Yeah, we, we, my girl, put on the camera and go, go take off this up now and put my pack for me. Because I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> These things is getting. Oh, this look, guys. She, she, uh, is she right, by the way? I'm going to put garlic. Nero said, you know me? Smoothie with okra water. Yeah. Trust me. And I would approve of you putting some scotch bunny pepper. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Guys, you know why I'm gonna eat after I cook? Because not for the time I'm tired. So oh yeah, I gotta be chef. Chef no cook, chef no eat. No, but Chef don't eat. That's the one thing we know. But this is some fat chef. Them they're the craving one them. <laughs> they're the craving them there. <laughs> Alright, so I have some paprika. <laughs> you know, see, I take the camera and go Yeah, I'll put out the camera and go on, right? Dira say yes, scotch bunny for poutine. Onion powder. <laughs> Nero, stop support her with that. She just had label out things. Garlic powder. Some water crackers would be nice. Oh, Lord Jesus, save your pilot. Seasoned salt. I just have put no, I'm not here again. <laughs> Ground cumin. I'm not here again, guys. I just have put. How am I sound so stressed at cook? She <laughs> pressure me, guys. She pressure me, you know. Fish seasoning.
And finally, guys, the Scotch bonnet next. And you know something I put the whole life, right? Just to burn it. It's the whole pot of fish, you can get it. Yeah, you think me have a problem? Tree, stop now. Please stop. What? Stop what? Stop. I don't know yet. Please, that pepper is super hot. Where is the fish sauce? Y'all use that would be nice. So put it, you miss it. No, no, he did put fish sauce and a generous amount too. Mm -hmm. Scallion. Only Jamaicans cut them scallions, so everybody else use a cutting board. <laughs> All right, you can go on my business now, please. I met this fish cook. Like the word craving. <laughs> Hmm? You can go on my business now, please. I'm at the fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna cover this part now, guys. A tad bit more water. Cover the pot, and then it will simmer for a couple more minutes. Then it will be time for the plating. But in the meantime, in between time, bam, bam, bam. I have that to tear up. But in the meantime, guys, let me implore you one more time. Much time I have to tell you about um, Green Valley. How many times do I have to tell you guys about Green Valley? But I will keep telling you until you get it. So, again, guys, if you have not yet gotten your... <laughs> if you have not yet gotten your Green Valley One Day Detox, what are you... By the way, Tamar, your package is on the way. Yes, and everybody else who ordered, all the shipments are out. So be sure to, you know, stay out of gate and wait for the post, um, the postman. Right. So the Green Valley Cleanser One Day Detox. What is it? It's a one day detox. It's a what we would call in Jamaica a washout. It's something that you use that you drink you drink the entire bottle one go just eight ounces don't be intimidated you drink everything down if you want you can chill it in the fridge pour it in a glass and you know have a, a sweet fruit on the side like an orange or maybe some lemon if you like lemon something something to take the taste out of your mouth once you drink it down it's something that you will have to put in the sacrifice of taste versus benefits right so this guys will help to rid the stomach of all the built up food uh, uh, the waste the undigested foods that is just sitting in the, the, the intestine in the stomach that needs to go and sometimes <laughs> you know some people you don't see any camera <laughs> Sometimes we realize that we're not going to the bathroom as often as we should. No, which, not so we, you. which, by the way, should be in an ideal scenario, which hardly exists three times a day, but at least once per day for each individual. If you're not going to the bathroom at least once per day, then you need a boost. How can you get the boost? By drinking the Green Valley One Day Detox. When I tell you that once you take this product within 15 to 30 minutes, everything will start to be eliminated from the body. Kim, that Kim Bush is not ready for that yet. Tande there. Tande. But already. 2021 is coming to a close. Like me telling her yesterday, when you don't want to go into 2022 with Kara Kara. And you know what? You know, like the Thanksgiving season has come up now. Oh, Lord. And you know, so people always eat extra Thanksgiving. You don't right? want to put junk on top of junk. Yeah. It Clear would be nice it. Mm -hmm. to show, show some, some detox in your body mm -hmm. to prep you for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And, and then January now, you lick back one again. Lick back another one again. Yes, yeah. 
you have to keep the, the, the body healthy, the organs in the body healthy. And if you get out all of that, then everything else in the body is healthier. You feel more energized. I can tell you that for a, sh for a fact that you feel more energized. True that, guys. Your question to me now is, how can you get yourself a Green Valley One Day Detox? Well, the fastest way to do so is to send us a text at 305-204-1270. Again, 305 204 one two seven zero and once you text us Nero no we did not make it it's made by a Jamaican company mm -hmm. in South Florida yes it's made by a Jamaican company they're located in South Florida so once you text us within the space of a couple hours your shipment will be on the way if you're in the US the shipping will be for free and you know included in the price but if you're outside of the u.s we still got you but you just have to cover the shipping cost for yourself what are some of the ingredients in this product you ask well without further ado let me tell you and i can't see no you have moringa you have leaf of life you have inflammation weed you have sour sap leaf you have guinea hen weed you have sour of anise you have aloe vera or tuna you have garlic you have vervain you have did i say cinnamon did mm -hmm. i say jack in the bush mm -hmm. all of the herbs the best herbs that your mama or your grandmama or your great grandmama will draw for and boil if you're not feeling well it's the same ingredients in this With and them own the them own the, the farm Right. Where it, it make where the, the, the something they grew up on. Mm -hmm. It's you know a family owned business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you don't want this for the benefit of your own body, then get it just because you want to support a black owned business. And if you don't want to support just a black owned business, you want to support a Jamaican owned business. And if you don't want to support a Jamaican owned business, you want to support me. <laughs> <laughs> Right, guys so we're anticipating all the messages from you guys at 305-204-1270 to get your one day detox and you can get them for your family do not ever feel like it is taboo to give certain gifts for christmas give the gift of long life um nero nero asks if they have whatsapp i don't mean the uk if they have whatsapp if we have whatsapp as no in the uk Reach out to me on Instagram, Nero. Yeah, DM us on Instagram at Yardy Belly TV, and then we can talk to you there. Right? So, yeah. And while you're in the mood to support, hey, hey. <laughs> while you're in <laughs> the yeah, support yeah, mood, <laughs> while you're in the mood to support, guys, why not support our very own product line? Yes, we are ambassadors for Green Valley, but we are the owners. Did we say owners? Yes. Owners. We are the owners of the brand One True Natural. Yes, our own, very own hair care line and recently added skincare line. Yes, we have a variety of soaps available. The um, one that I have here is our... Um, charcoal and turmeric combination amazing on the skin guys you have to get your hands on one of these and we also have sea moss and turmeric we also have eucalyptus mint and we have lemongrass so there's something for everybody and guys this is the first product that we ever curated which is our shine of mind Hold on, um, read what Tamar said Tamar what did you say the first time I smell it it takes me a while to drink but I can say that it is the first drink that works so quickly for me mm -hmm. for real for real for real it works like a charm let me clean this because I'm, I'm not really liking sorry sorry guys hey, I put up this stuff then yeah just bear with me while she do our thing mm -hmm. never share the food now yeah don't don't go guys where the food is coming up so the nourishing oil blend is simply that, a blend of nourishing oils, some of the very best all natural oils that will be beneficial for your hair. And as a bonus, it is so organic and pure, it can be used on the skin and it helps to soften 
the hair, it helps to nourish the scalp, and it helps to seal the moisture into the hair and also the skin. So when you're going to bed at night, your skin don't choppy choppy, right? <laughs> so this is our very first product. And we also have our castor oil mascara. What is a castor oil mascara, you ask? Well, I can it's tell you. It's a mascara you put a mask. It's a mascara. It's really a treatment. It's a brow and lash treatment that you apply to the brows and the lashes, of course. And that will help to thicken the brows and lengthen the lashes if you have challenges in that area. And our top seller, guys, our Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Pure, 100%. Operative word being pure. Not to be compared with most of the others in the beauty supply stores that are mixed with other oils and concentrated. And yeah, this is the real deal, you guys. We source this straight from the farm in Jamaica. And it is available under our brand, retailed for you guys, for your convenience amazing for hair growth hair thickness hair strength hair um, moisture come on guys the real deal one real true MVP. one true natural all right get it while you're still in support mode while for getting it good. get it while the getting is good all right how do you get these products though well you can text also if you want to the same number or if you prefer to just shop online with your card you can visit our website at www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash one true natural www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash one true natural i'm one true natural and you could be one too <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we promise you're, you're talking about the soap yeah i talk about the soap first <clears throat> you never gave me the soap in my life you never gave me all the soaps that we have no i did all right what did i miss it bad i'm afraid <laughs> all right so here products are good too thanks gamer yes gamer is our um long time supporter jojo hi girl i recommend you wear the mascara on a day you are not wearing makeup yeah it's a treatment so i would i wouldn't ask you, um advise you to put it under mas regular mascara mostly when i'm home is when i wear mine you know you just um apply it to the lashes and the brows and you're good to go when you're home <clears throat> Because it's an oil, it could break up your... Yeah, it will break up your, your regular mascara. Coming from a professional makeup artist, Jojo P. Thank you, my girl. Go and follow Jojo P. And if you're in the South Florida area, she can beat your face. Okay? If your face is giving trouble, make sure beat it. <laughs> How much are the soaps? Well, you can text me for the information and you will get the information good morning get fit and done yes joe pay elite m-u-a j-o-p-e-e-l-i-t-e-m-u-a all right all right guys so it's time for the food I remember on a one day detox but now one and nine and okay food time food time Lord, I'm gonna miss the food time. Hey, food time, food time. Hey. Did you notice that his shirt says run, right? I guess what my shirt say. Away. My shirt say non stop. Oh, I'm thinking your shirt say run away. <laughs> so, so run. Wow. Non-stop. The camera now work with me. It's supposed to be a seamless transition, but it now work out. Anyway, guys, food. May I try? Food, food, food. Time for the food. Food in the morning and food in the evening. AG born Jamaican. Good morning to you. You are a little bit late, but I'm sure you'll watch the video from the beginning. But this is our brown stew fish. Yes. Put the whole fish, babes. 
Yes. Piece of each. Where's the number just ten? Wow. Bam. That not look bad. And then the other piece, where are you gonna put it? Here, so. Okay. You know, no, I'm not that <laughs> I can't do everything in a... Put the put the thing there. Make the head go down that end. The other end. Put the thing that way. Let the head come to the rim of the plate and the box. The thing like it's one straight fish. Yeah. Like so. Yeah. But turn it the other way. No. Guys, you guys already know what it is. The plating is a deal. It's a big deal. <laughs> Boy. Why never make it stay all this year before? You know you love my trouble? The dumpling are slide, It man. didn't look better the first way. Oh. We, we didn't know you had it the first time. It was just sitting nice and, and flat. Um, yeah, let's see. So. It's a slide. So? That's Tell me not be. I, no, that wasn't how I. Can did. you put the camera down and come do it? No, 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 for do it. Do all this. <laughs> you see? Sometimes them things say this thing is easy, you know. Them things say it's easy, but them not understand say it's hard. So maybe just make she do it. Don't guys. And guys, just for the to know, I am not a, 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 a professionally trained chef or anything. We just as we just somebody we love food and the wife we love food with we. Where are this? <laughs> we chefs at home. <laughs> You look good as I mean, you know. One more bus spot. That look good. And then you clean up your plate. And then you put sauce over the top of the fish. You have any greens where well, we can put? Mm -hmm. May I make gravy? No, may I make some gravy run? Okay. Have to make gravy run. Then put that up <coughs> I need gravy. Gravy up in her. What kind of greens do you want? Micro greens. What kind of greens <laughs> is this? This is a little Yeah, I know. You want to take all a couple? Yeah. How oh, this a look, guys? It a look like something I keep. To have more gravy in the pot in the beef. Make the gravy cook out. Drop two jalapenos running about. Now. Teamwork with dream work. <laughs> 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 
Wow, this looks good. No, 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 no. Use a cream for Use a cream for it. Thank you. Come on, jalapeno. All right, we have jalapenos that we're going to just drop random. Yeah. Put it over the eye. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. Yeah, a, a blind stroke, fish on a brown stroke. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, three jalapenos is fine. How that look? It look good to me. Guys, how this look? I'm not sure not where it look from another angle. So we have the okras and the carrots down there and then we have the two pieces of fish over there and underneath we have the dumpling and the sweet potato and then the Brussels sprouts right there. Mm -hmm. How we look? It look good to me. Mm -hmm. Look to you. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to get this piece of fish with it. With it. Wait. What? Are you going to give take long to choose a one dumpling? Are you going to get to bit the ever? Watch out and around up your mouth. Okay. I have no time. Mm -mm. Guys. This is gonna be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, it's done. It tastes good. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the Brussels sprouts is good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you see, where I uh, always I said the, the craven dance. Tanya. <laughs> Whoa, guys. Whoa. Food time. So, guys, this is. No, man, I saw the time gone. Wow. Time now. One hour and 17 minutes. Wow. This it looks nice, guys. It looks nice. I would buy this from a restaurant. Anybody can price this for me, please? That's an eighteen dollar plate right there for me, old friend. Lala, anybody? Price? Oh, how much is this dish? Yes, with the nice whole carrots and the okras in the back, and a whole fish and some nice W W um dumplings, wheat the and white. The dumplings take life. And we have our sweet potatoes and our Brussels sprouts and some nice sauce. Ooh la la. Trust me, this just want a Guinness now. No, I ain't a kin to drink. To drink with <laughs> Jojo said $25. See there, Jojo, you're gone. That's it. <laughs> Nero, Nero said 25 See there, it's a $25 food. Anis King said $18. Mm -hmm. Anis, I feel like you never want to buy it. <laughs> Anis, you never want to buy it though. <laughs> you get Brussels sprouts in Anis. Talk to you. Brussels sprouts, dear. You pay the $20 for little food. $20 then. $20. No, Lala. Lala, $35. Lala. No, we are charging Lala different. We're yeah, because Lala different. used to the $275 food. Yeah, so, I'm going to charge her. Lala, since I'm going to charge you $50. <laughs> and you get a bottle of drinks. Yeah, you get a bottle of drinks. I probably show two of the jumbo shrimp them in the gravy, too. See, mine. See, stop <laughs> me. Me doing it. See? Don't, just, don't. Me do it. If I drop two of the jumbo shrimp them in it, Lala, I'm going to charge you the $50 food. Fish and you know Lala, that's a fish and right? Jojo said fish expensive. Lala said $40. Tamar Nichols said $25. Mm -hmm. Tamar Nichols, which for you, the Bronx? Because Bronx people love expensive food for cheap. <laughs> <laughs> it just has said. 
Okay. Yes. So there we have it. And guys, this is a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We haven't been eating, guys. You tell her? Mm-hmm. But I'm hungry now. I shall be eating today. The fish look good. The fish look perfectly nice, golden brown. Nice. I'm going to serve it with that. Coconut water. Yeah, but I feel for a glass of wine with this. You feel for a glass of wine? Yes. Pick what you want. The whole of them nice. <laughs> Lala said it's market value. For real. <laughs> Today's market value is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $60 as a lash on. <laughs> May I tell the waiter as in see Lasha and so mm -hmm. still market Yeah, price discrimination where Lasha and is concerned. Because ah. she eats very high chested. Hey, have you ever ever heard about ostentatious goods? Yeah. I think Lashan is an ostentatious eater. If the Me food no ostentatious the food more expensive the food, food, the more the higher her demand is for that food. So she it is it is the opposite of the regular principle of supply and demand. Uh, I mean price and um price and demand. Right. So usually you know the people that shop at Whole Foods, sorry, are ostentatious people. Right? Of course, usually the general principle of price and demand is the higher the price, the lower demand. The lower the price, the higher the demand. But for the ostentatious people, the people who like ostentatious goods like Lashon, the higher the price, the higher the demand. So I'm just telling you guys that this morning. Yes. Have a great day too, Claire. Thanks for watching. Yes, Tamar is in Massachusetts. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's in Boston. Those were not the shrimp in mine. See, your chest too high. You're too astral. <laughs> Very astral. Yeah, get shrimp and a tab on another one near the one. Very ostentatious. Um, who this? Tamar said, I have a fish man though. He sells snapper by the back. Yeah, tell man. We are doing fish, man. <laughs> I tell the husband. That's why I just said the man talk, no? <laughs> okay, I'm a talk about the fish, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going straight to your husband, say, man. And say, do you know she has a fish, man? <laughs> All right, guys. All right, now. Mm. 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 Mm -mm. Alright guys, if you guys have anything else to say, this is your Thank last you. final moment because we are about to close the live. Look how the fish here over here, so somebody look at it here top. We'll leave one, one fish. See, can you close the live please? Hmm? Can you close the live? Nobody need to see that fish the way over this chamba chamba. They need to see. I'm having sliders and wings for lunch. Okay. Nika slide to my thigh smooth. Where where you get them from, Lala? Which restaurant? How oh, um, him love when my buy. Say <laughs> man, so him love when my buy, so him can't eat. <laughs> No, sir. He makes more fish, man, but he wants fish. He wants to look for my email address up in the comments. So you do that. Just go back in the comments. Okay, okay. Who turns so early, Lala? Why, oh, my girl? Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. We are appreciative of you spending the time with us this morning for our breakfast live stay tuned again for another live on tuesday in the evening at 6 p.m for a dinner live and until that time stay blessed look out for our pre-recorded videos in between and god bless you all bye